So, snowy day. It just does, it's just like a snow drizzle. It's pretty. Oh, it's pretty, I know. It's just funny that everybody's talking about like the snow apocalypse. Like, like, wah. Well, we're supposed to get, we're now I'm going to say wash. five to seven inches. I don't know. On the radio, they're, let's go like, school school closed last night already. Oh. Yeah, they closed. That's what. Bed. Jane was hoping for. Oh. I wonder. If but I don't know if Bay City, City. <laughs> I don't know if they had that forecast. Bummer. <laughs> All right. Well, we are. Peter is bidding us farewell here in his letter in the last part, and so we picked a hymn from the close of service section, and it fits surprisingly well. Uh, Forth in the peace of Christ we go, and this is about being in Christ. Uh, King of our hearts, Christ makes us kings. And Peter said that, your royal priesthood. Uh, uh, priests of the world, Christ sends us forth. So who are we? Well, this, uh, this um, hymn tells us that. Kings, priests, prophets are we whose deeds proclaim Christ's truth and love. All those things. <clears throat> think about that as we sing. Number 920. Forth in the peace of Christ we go, Christ to the world with joy we bring, Christ in our minds, Christ on our lips, Christ in our hearts, the world's true King. Christ makes us kings, kingship with him, his servants gain, with Christ the servant, Lord of all, Christ's world we serve to share Christ's reign. Chapter 3, verse 14. Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace. And count the patience of our Lord as <coughs> salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given him, as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. There are some things in them which are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and lose your own stability but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, both now 
and to the day of eternity. Amen. Amen. What to say, we've said it before, because Peter is repeating himself, of course. Uh, therefore, it's that very important word, therefore. We always say, when you see that word, you perk up to say, what came before this? And he's referring to this whole letter and, the, and his previous letter. Uh, since you are waiting for these, the, the, uh, the end of all things, um, the, the, uh, the world to be remade and a new heaven and a new earth, since you are waiting for these, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace. And that's sort of a contrast there. For many people, being found without spot or blemish means that they're not at peace. They're constantly worrying, am I without spot or blemish? Am, am I good enough? Do I, uh, do I deserve, you know, if Christ comes again, am I going to be okay? Um, uh, Peter says, be at peace because being without spot or blemish is what Christ does for you. When you are in Christ, you are without spot or blemish. And so he's, he's warning them uh, not to follow off after other things and chase after other teachers, but rather stay in Christ. Uh, just remain in him. Count the patience of our Lord as salvation. That is, uh, God is, uh, God saves you. He's patient with your mistakes and your failures. And he, he is, he hangs in there with you just as Paul already told you, and this is a unique, this is a rather unique passage here, yeah. for Peter to refer to Paul and to say, I know some of the things Paul says are kind of hard. Actually, I think some of the things Peter says are hard. That is, they're stern and, and uh, challenging. But Paul has this more intellectual kind of writing. Peter's just a regular guy, a fisherman. He says, because they're hard to understand, Ignorant and unstable people twist them as they do all the scriptures. Don't be following ignorant and unstable people. But instead, read Paul, read Peter, read John, read, uh, read Moses, read all of the scriptures and listen and reflect and grow. He says, grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We grow in grace, that is, God gives us more and more gifts as we read his word. We grow in knowledge as we, as we search these scriptures and we come to know Christ more and more. Remaining in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That was the bottom line of everything Peter has written. And that's what we sang about. Forth in the peace of Christ we go, uh, knowing that we are without spot or blemish, that we are kings and priests and uh, holy, a holy nation. We are a unique people because Christ has made us so. Not because we look that way or, or act that way, but rather because we have been cleansed and we belong to him and he will do through us his remarkable things. Peter is saying goodbye, uh, and he would not live very much longer after writing this. But the people who read his letter, they remained. They remained with one another to encourage each other and build each other up. You also and we, we're still here for now. For now. How long we'll be here? I don't know. When will the Lord call us home? But, but when we are gone, you will still have Peter. You will still have your brothers and sisters in Christ. You will still have the Lord. And be in him by the power of the Holy Spirit to build up others who come after us. Father in heaven, thank you for Peter. Thank you for his courage and his boldness. Lord, thank you for his diligence his faithfulness. He who was unfaithful to you, but you were patient with him.
and so he was saved. Because you did not give up on him, turn him loose. Lord, you stayed with him and you kept him in faith in you. Keep us also. Keep us and all those we love. Lord, grant that we may bring more to you by the working of your Holy Spirit, that they also may remain in you and find peace. Amen. We're deliberating what book to do next. We haven't decided yet, so we'll have to know before very long at all, won't we? Um, we'd always welcome input. I got We got to go back over and make sure we know which ones we've already done. I know we've done Luke, Acts, Romans, Psalms, Genesis, Gospel of John, Revelation, Judges, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Peter. We got to go back and check and see see if we missed any. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we're forgetting any of the bottom that we line, did. he said he yeah. was going to do First John, and I thought we maybe already did it. So yeah. We'll see. Uh, at our age, it starts to get confusing. It's just because of the abundance yep, of right. knowledge we have to sort through. That's all the right. Time. That's right. You guys <laughs> have a wonderful day. And uh, be careful in the snow if you got to go out. Bye-bye. <laughs>